Hey guys, Stephen here from Heresy Academy. I'm starting up a Unity tutorial series and we're going to make a really simple game, just a quick brick break game. Um, to start with, I want to show you obviously how to get Unity if you haven't already got it. I'd, I'd imagine you'd have it, but in this case you're brand new to game development and you somehow find this tutorial, then this is where we go. So you want to type in unity3d.com forward slash get dash unity. Once you do that, it'll direct you to this page and you just pick on the, the personal plan because it's free otherwise you know if, if you've got money then go for these straight away you can scroll down the page where it's comparing the plans you can see the feature the personal uh the plus pro and enterprise like i said we're going to use the personal one like i said it's, you can go to all platforms you can put a game on the google play store straight away it's royalty free you don't owe anything to unity the only thing I'll mention though with royalty free, uh, with the personal, the free version, you will get a splash screen and it will come up saying made with Unity. I personally like that to be fair, you know, to, you know show people why I made this game with Unity. Some some people won't want that. The way to get rid of that would obviously come down to your plus here. Your plus plan, which I think is $35 a month per person. The splash screen then you can have custom animation or none, so that's where you sort it out. The other thing to look at, I mean, you obviously can find out more information by coming to the website and checking out learn more, obviously have a look around, find whatever information you can do, you can do, you can find, whatever. <laughs> um, the revenue capacity, you can earn up to $100,000 with this free plan, it's possible, it, it's, the option is available there. You can use Unity ads and stuff like that. We'll, we'll come across more information about putting in ads to our game a bit later on and also how to make money too. Uh, notice as you scroll down to the plus one, that rises to 200,000. Again, I mean, if I earn 100,000, I'd definitely go for the plus or the pro without question. There isn't, there isn't a lot of uh, features that you get that are extra that are superb, you know. Sometimes it's worth it. Remains royalty free. Obviously, you're not going to pay for it to become... So to have to pay royalties so as you come up to here to the pro version or down here should i say the revenue becomes unlimited you can make as much as you want the enterprise uh i don't actually know much about the enterprise version i imagine that's more for bigger teams businesses stuff like that perhaps don't think there's much difference in here apart from this dedicated build engine uh, uh, agents in the unity cloud but like i said you can find more information about this if you visit the website we're going to go for the personal one I've already got it installed, so I don't need to do it again. At the time of this recording, the version is 5.4.0 F3. I'm pretty sure whatever version you've got, this brick brick game will work. Maybe the code will be a bit off. Um, well, there's only one way to find out. Throughout the series, if you find pieces of the code aren't working and you're in a a lesser version of unity i would recommend updating it but for whatever reason if you don't want to uh drop a comment let me know what the issue is i'll come around and fix it i mean i won't come around to your house i'll come around to your comment and i'll help you fix it so yeah you click on your download installer a pop-up will come up in a minute it'll take us this page uh i'll cancel it because i've already got it set up we're here so you just click on save file then you run this you run it once it's ready and i've i've uh, included everything available um things that include your android setup ios setup other, other options like that um they're not already ticked so i would recommend ticking them so once you've downloaded it if you haven't already got a unity id you create one that's basically your login for unity setting up an email address stuff like that and then just start creating on the web on their website there are already tutorials in there the documentation you can have a look at the script uh, or the manual how to use it and also speaking to the community you know on the forums talking to other people who use unity i feel that's a great way to connect within the game dev game dev environment so we're going to make a game like this uh just going to mute the tab because it brings up some music click to start pretty simple it's, it's a bit slow uh i actually made this what this version in uh in construct 2 it's made html obviously i'm using firefox now but 
found that Unity games for web don't work too well in Google Chrome. So that's just a point to, rec to think about as we're going in. And we'll get started. Um, that's it for this video then, just basically showing you how to download it. We'll just close it off. Uh, yeah, you can go back to, sorry, one other thing I'll point out then. You can go to the actual Unity website and there's the asset store. Uh, you can find a lot of really, really cool things on there. If I can find my way to it. Got to get Unity, tells you about the, uh, the licenses here, education, all of the things like gambling as well. Consider that, you know, if you want to set up a gambling website. So using this uh, this burger menu, three lines, you scroll down here and click on the asset store. You can find a lot of things in the asset store for free. I go, it's loading. All right. Uh, some things you have to pay for. That's just the way of life. Um, another good source will be opengameart.com uh, uh, I'll put links in the description and stuff like that. So this is the uh, asset store. You can see straight away someone here selling a multiple terrain brush. Helping you create terrains, 40% off, uh, it's $15 instead of 25 You can go through here, have a look at you know, the most popular ones people use them. It's not just assets, you can find pieces of code, plugins, uh, Playmaker is apparently a good one, uh, makes it more of a visual scripting. And then what you can do uh, is you're scrolling down, you've got the top paid, I always have a look at the top three because I like to see them. You'll see standard assets here, although Unity comes with standard assets and we'll pick them up at some point. We'll have a look at them. Uh, possibly not in this video, in another series. we we'll just go through them, have a look what you think. Tanks tutorial. It's free. Might as well have a look at it if you're interested in it. It says it'll let you know that it requires Unity 5.2 or higher. So if you are using like 4, 4.8 or something like that then uh, consider moving up to at least 5.2 for everything to work efficiently but yeah so check out the asset store plenty of free things to play with uh, open game out as well have a look what assets there are I'm sure you can make some amazing games and hopefully I'm going to teach you how to put together a brick break game or breakout game I think that's also what they're known as and yeah hope you enjoy this series and let me know in, in comments below the videos, uh, any feedback, any questions, any suggestions for other videos, absolutely feel free. Thank you for watching.